welcome to another edition of Solid Rock Collection here on the 22nd of April. Hope you're doing well and thanks for taking a few seconds to, to join with me today as we chew on a piece of scripture. Exodus chapter 3 and 4. Just a couple of quick verses. Uh, in Exodus 3 we have Moses who comes across the burning bush. God tells him that he's seen the affliction of the people that he hasn't turned a blind eye, that he knows their suffering, he's heard their cries, he knows their pain, and he's come down to rescue them. I just, I love how even though sometimes it can seem, as I'm sure it did to them, 430 years in Egypt, but the truth of the matter is the Lord's very close to the brokenhearted. Psalm 34, 18 says, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and he saves such as have a contrite spirit or a crushed in spirit. Then, so God comes and says, I've seen the affliction. Then he says, I'm going to send you to Pharaoh. And this is really the, the parts that I want to key on in on here today. Moses was so certain, so certain at his lack of ability. He says, initially in verse 11, who am I? Who am I to do this? I'm nobody. I've been, I mean, Lord, you know my past. You know what happened in Egypt with the... As far as killing that Egyptian, fleeing for my life, I've been in Midian now. I, all I do is watch sheep. I'm a shepherd. Who am I? Literally nobody knows where I am. Nobody knows who I am. But the Lord responds with, certainly I will be with you. Certainly. There's no doubt. There's, I'm going to be with you, Moses. But Moses in, in chapter 4 keeps his apprehension going. He says, you know, what if they refuse to believe me or listen to my voice? They may say, the Lord has not appeared to you. Just having that self-focus that can be so debilitating and, and letting himself indulge in the what-ifs that keep us oftentimes from moving forward. And the they may say, or this might happen. Which for him, if he, if he had allowed that to be, kind of have the final word versus the Lord having the final word, he would have stayed right there in Midian. He would, he would not have walked. In, in the wonderful and miraculous things that the Lord had ahead for him. Or there it be seen his mighty hand rescue them from Egypt, or the Red Sea parting it, or the manna from heaven in the desert, or seeing even the promised land from a distance, and knowing that Joshua would then take the people in. I mean, the, the countless miracles. If he had let himself dwell and get stuck in his what ifs and the they may says, that would have been that. But I love it because he lets the Lord have the final word and the final say as far as what he's doing, where he's going. I hope the same is true for me because I, I have a ton of I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not that, or what ifs, or maybe that'll happen. But letting the Lord have the final say over my insecurities, over my faults, over my perspective of the way things are oftentimes. You know, and uh, so then in, in picking up in verse 10 of Exodus 4, it says, Then Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Just real quick, I think I've tried to do this video like 20 times. So it, I was chuckling at, uh, before I started this. Hopefully this is it. <laughs> but I was chuckling. I'm like, yeah, I can relate to that right now. Uh, but the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seen, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore, go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. I love this. I love, and this is just what I want to kind of finish up with here. Moses says, no, I'm broken. As far as his speech, his ability, stammering, you know, slow, his tongue slow. I'm, he says, I, I'm broken. This part of me, right, right here, it doesn't work. And I know exactly what you're asking me to do requires all this to work, to have words, to be able to communicate. I'm broken. This doesn't work. And I'm sure Moses thought that the broken parts of himself would never work again. Maybe they did back in Egypt, you know. Uh, maybe they did before he had 40 years of, of that lonely life in the desert in Midian. But God reminded him that he created him. He says, who made man's mouth? I made your mouth, Moses. I created you. And I will be with the parts of you that are broken. He says, I will be with your mouth. You, you think your mouth doesn't work? You think this part of you is messed up permanently? 
I will be with you. I will be with the broken parts of you. And because of that, the things that I'm calling you to that you think are possible will become possible. Not because of any other reason than I'm with you and your broken parts and I am for you. You know, if I really, sometimes I wonder these the countless things the Lord would love to um, allow us to walk in or allow me to walk in or that, you know, he says he has good works prepared for us. And there's so many opportunities. I limit the opportunities many times and the things the Lord wants to do because I'm so sure of what I can't do or of what broken pieces there are of me that cannot be fixed. But I forget that the Lord says the same thing to me that he did to Moses. As I say, who am I? He says, I'll go with you. I'm going to be with you. He used Moses, but even when he first came to him, he didn't say, all right, Moses, you're going to deliver my people. No. He says, I've come down to rescue them. And that's just it. Even with any of the good works that the Lord asks us or calls us to, they're amazing. And um, the victories that are found in that promised land that he has for us, that abundant Christian life, are incredible to not be missed out on. So for me today, it's to stop listening to the what ifs they may say and to allow the Lord to, to work in me in those broken places that I'm so determined that that's just the way it is. But to be free to the idea that maybe the Lord who created my mouth and my mind and, and all the pieces that I might think are broken can also say, hey, I'm going to be with the parts of you that are broken. So let's keep going. Don't get stuck on the what ifs. Let me have the final word. Well, God bless everybody. Thanks for hanging out for a few seconds. Hope you have a great day uh, and um, may we draw closer to him as the day approaches. Amen.